Hello, so this is my website. It looks fine, I guess. But for a website that's meant to help people make cool websites, it is not particularly memorable in my opinion. Now I'm working on it, but I definitely don't consider myself a grade A designer. So we need a new direction that is relatively easy to follow, but open enough that I can add my own twist to it. A wise man once said that if you can't look beautiful, look interesting. So that is the goal. A popular move right now is just to try to make your website look like linear.app. If you've ever seen that website before, scroll through product hunt and you'll find like 20 landing pages that look like a dollar store version of linear. To me, that's not really interesting. My landing page already has this animated illustration thing in the hero section that I really like. And I also recently made this card carousel thing that I really like as well. And both of these styles fit pretty comfortably within what a lot of people would call new brutalism. Popular examples of this style are gumroad.com and even figma.com. They have these really bold lines, bright colors. It almost looks like a sketchbook. Now my website is a component library, but it isn't a design system, meaning that each component looks and feels different from the next. That being the case, a sketchbook style to me seems like it makes a lot of sense. Now this doesn't mean that I'm just gonna blindly copy Gumroad. What I specifically like are the bold, thick borders like on Gumroad, the blurless drop shadows. This example is from cal.com repeating patterns. This example is actually from a micro conf video. So getting inspired from all over the place here, I guess. And these clipped corners, like from the carousel that I already put together. I've seen something kind of like these clipped corners before, but I think that this is gonna be a cool thing to lean on as a bit of a brandable idea. Hopefully things like this can help the site be more memorable. I won't take the fancy illustrations since I can't draw. I'm not gonna do the large border radius on everything. I'll keep most of the elements square to fit with the kind of clipped corners idea. And I'm gonna use a lot less colors. It looks pretty and all, but I also feel like I mess up whenever I try to add more than like three colors. So we'll keep it simple, at least for now. So let's make some changes. First, we'll remove all of the gradients and rounded borders on stuff across the site, like these buttons. We'll also remove these white gradients from on top of the grid sections. We'll start selectively adding our clipped edges, borders, and drop shadows, like on our primary buttons and these component cards that I have lower down on the site. We'll continue boldening stuff up, like this navigation bar. We'll give it a thick underline. We'll uppercase the links. We'll make our call to action button take up the full height of the nav bar. And we'll do these same things elsewhere, like on the FAQs page and on most of the other elements across the site. I really like the repeating patterns from the video that I referenced earlier. So I made this animating background grid a theme that we can use in a few spots, like on our pricing page and even on our hero section. I've removed the video section entirely and replaced it with this button, which ties to a new wrapping component around the product demo section. And I've taken the carousel that I mentioned earlier and replaced my old popular links carousel with this one, also adding in that grid background animation. And then it's just kind of saucing it up everywhere else that seems like it makes sense. Added a dark background whenever you over scroll the page. I cut the corners on my little nav link indicator things. I adjusted animations and easings everywhere to feel more cohesive and about 5,000 other little adjustments that kind of follow these same principles. And this is our final result. Is it perfect? I don't know, probably not, but at least it feels a lot more interesting than the old version. Even if you hate it, hopefully you'll at least remember it. Anyways, see you guys next time. Peace.